Hey guys, I'm here at Silverstone today and I've had the amazing opportunity to drive with a guy called Sam Schmidt. He's an ex IndyCar driver, paralysed from the neck down in an accident back in 2000. And with Arrows and McLaren, they've created the technology for him to be able to drive this car around the circuit over speeds of 200 miles an hour, which is mind blowing. There's not even a steering wheel. He uses sensors on the front of his crash helmet to turn the car and he breathes in and out of a tube inside of the helmet for throttle and brake. So, I mean, it's completely mind blowing, it's mad, but I'm here at Silverstone, I'm gonna give it a go and weirdly looking forward to it. Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to race cars. It's in my blood, but at the age of 17, my life was changed forever. Despite my injuries, I never lost belief that I would race again. It's what kept me going through the darkest moments. Today, I'm getting to meet a fellow racer who 22 years ago went through his own life-changing experience. But through cutting-edge technology and the love and support of the motor racing community is back behind the wheel again, driving at speed using just his head and his mouth. My name is Sam Schmidt. Like Billy, racing is in my blood. And my goal was always to win the 8500. 22 years ago, my life was to change forever. I severed my spine, and as a result, I was paralyzed from my neck down. But today, I'm going to fulfill a lifetime dream and drive around the Silverstone circuit. Rock and roll. Hi, Sam, you right? Nice to meet you. Really excited, man. Sam, sum up how you bounce back off what happened to you. As you have lived it, right? Everything's turned upside down. You know, once it kind of come through and, and reality hits, then it's an evolution. What are you gonna do with the rest of your life? I was very fortunate to go to Indianapolis and meet uh, Sir Frank Williams. He just kind of pushed me a little bit and said, man, if you want it, you got to go do it. Started the team and went, uh, went full on. That's what I'm talking about. I like that sound. On the dash, we have three infrared cameras that are looking at the little dots on the front of that helmet right there, and they trace the head wherever it goes. So I turn left, car goes left, and it's instantaneous at no matter what speed. It's the same thing really for the straw that's in your mouth. It's just uh, you blow to go and you suck to stop. If you blow really hard, you get a lot of rear tires. If you just breathe, it'll just take off slowly like at a stoplight. So the whole goal here is to give it to people to improve their lives on a daily basis, whether that's uh, transportation, mobility, or uh, workspace. It was time to test this incredible tech with Sam clearly keen to see what this world famous track had to offer. <laughs> okay, that's good, Grace. Stop, stop, stop. So it's mad how fascinating it is to see uh, this all unfold. Something else. Forward. Is it forward? That should be okay. Technology that goes into is crazy. Okay. How's it feeling in there, Sam? Feeling better. Yeah? Feed seat, you feeling all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice and secure. This lateral supports the tough part, lateral G's. Yeah. Right. You ready? Yep. I'll uh, I'll hold the brake. Yep. Go black button, then drive. That's all you. As we left the pit lane, I still hadn't quite got my head around what to expect. Remember, this car was being driven totally by Sam, using just his head and his breath. I had so many questions running through my head, but I wanted to let him focus. Not that he could answer anyway with that tube in his mouth. From the first corner, he was trying to find the right line, using all the track and even taking some curb. Nice. After half a lap, it became clear that Sam was totally in control. Nice. Still a true racer at heart who had lost none of his talent and desire to go fast. Obviously that was about 50% there, but... Uh... Wow, mate. How did it feel you just driven Silverstone and then this? That was, for me, that was mind blowing. How did it feel for you? Well, Lost for words is kind of, uh, it's just surreal, you know? It's... Awesome. Now the answer to this question, I want to ask you, what made you want to get back behind the wheel again? It's, uh... 
control, you know. Uh, at this level of injury, there's really not much in my life that I can do by myself and have total unequivocal control over. Um, when I'm in the car, it's all me. It's, it's steering, it's brake, it's gas. Uh, it all comes back like, um, just like it was before. I did it entirely for selfish reasons, right? I want to go fast again. I want to prove myself that I can do it. But the unintended results of the last eight years are just phenomenal. I mean, you, I've been enamored with your story as well. You had a decision to make too, right? Like, your family think you're nuts or what? <laughs> yeah, my mom definitely thought I was nuts when I, I said I wanted to go back to racing. I think you're gonna have a great time. I'm not gonna be on the left side because I would do no good if you had a problem, but we'll get somebody experienced on the left side for you. <laughs> this is mad. It's not a lot of movement at all, is it? All right, ready? Yep. Look forward. Yep. You have it. To be able to drive an adapted car with no legs is one thing, but to sit in a car and attempt to drive it with just my mouth and head, with no steering wheel to hold on to, was totally new. Yeah, no checking your mirrors in this one. <laughs> to witness Sam doing it with such control was amazing, go. but it also made me slightly nervous. Right. I knew the track, but not like this. Good. But after a few turns, it started to click. You're As we enough. came onto the hangar straight, I took okay. a deep breath and went for it. I'd never concentrated so hard on breathing whilst driving and inhaling to brake took some getting used to. You got it. As did the continuous sweep of Luffield, the accuracy needed to keep the steering steady and consistent is really tricky to master. Turning is excellent and gas is good, just work on the braking. Okay. You got it, yeah? Yeah, I got it. Oh man, my, my cheeks <laughs> went so tired. Your first couple laps will be your best. I couldn't suck in enough. I got more and more tired. That's mad. Sam, today's been an absolute pleasure. I, I can't believe that I've just driven a car without a steering wheel. You did a great job, brought it back in one piece. You took to it. It's awesome. Thanks, mate.